My name is Robbie Bach. I'm the president of the Entertainment Devices Division of Microsoft. On behalf of our partners, Verizon, Vodafone, and Sharp, I want to thank everybody for coming this morning. Now, this is really one of the, one of the better parts of my job. And I'm not talking about being with 100 of my closest friends in a bar at 10 a.m. But it is an opportunity for us to reveal what we've been working on in Redmond, in Basking Ridge, New Jersey with Verizon, in Nara, Japan with Sharp, and in London, England with Vodafone. And I guess the best way to tell the story is to really go to the customers. And we spent uh, thousands of hours, with thousands of interviews with customers to really understand their needs before we wrote a single line of code. So let's take a look at a video of what they think about what they want in a phone.
and they're very passionate about it. They expect their life to be a multi-screen life. They expect things to work on their phone, to work on their PC, uh, ultimately to work on their TV. And they just want it to work where they are, when they want it to work, and how they want it. They have high demands from the technology, and they're very facile with using it. So when you think about that, if you're focused on social connections, you're focused on self-expression, and you're focused on a multi-screen digital life, um, how do you bring that to a phone? How do you bring that experience to a phone? If you talk to these people, they really haven't had a phone that's been well-designed specifically for them. And they want a phone that brings everything that's important to their life in a completely natural way. So now that brings us to, we took that data and we said, okay, what does that mean for our strategy? What are we trying to accomplish um, in our strategy? And if you think about Windows Phone, uh, Windows Phone is designed to bring the important things for people together on their phone. In February, we announced Windows Phone 7. And Windows Phone 7, we really are creating the best multi-purpose experience we can for a very broad audience of people, whether they're business users or consumers. And we're integrating that into everything that's great that Microsoft has produced, whether that's Bing or Office or Xbox, Zoom, Windows Live, et cetera. So that's Windows Phone 7, our broader offering. But as we were working on Windows Phone 7, we also said, wow, we have an opportunity to go after this specific target audience, and we should pursue that. So we took a small group of people, and some of these people are designers, some of them are business folks, obviously some engineers. And we said, explore what you can do if you went specifically after this social group. What if we created something from the same design, from the same core elements as Windows Phone 7, but customized it uniquely for this audience around social communication. In the words of the team, they said, how do we truly, madly, and deeply understand that audience and their social needs? And how do we bring things so they can share their life with their friends, their friends, and their friends? And so the team you know, worked on that, and they basically said, look, we're going to create social up to 11, just like we did with Xbox and social on Xbox Live. We're going to take that experience and make it central to what we're doing on the phone and see what comes out. And so they have crafted a, a, a phone approach that focuses in that way. And so our strategy is really a cohesive focus around Windows phones. Windows Phone 7, that will bring the multi-purpose phone for the broad audience to market later this fall. And then a new, deeply social phone that will give for people what they want. Windows Phone 7 is about simplifying people's lives. This social phone is about amplifying their life. So when we got to a checkpoint with this team uh, partway through the project, they showed me what we call an experience book and a concept video. And I saw that and I said, ah, this is no longer just a, a, a test or an experiment. This is something that's exciting. I see the passion and commitment. And I've seen that before. I've seen it with Xbox and the work we've done with Xbox, Xbox Live, and later this year with Project Natal. Um, and I've seen it with the creativity we've plowed into Windows Phone 7 and the great work we're doing, which again will ship this fall. So I told that team, I said, be absolutely laser focused. Make the social connection. Make the phone that brings that to life. And they've really done that. And so what we're here to announce today and to unveil today is a phone that knits together a tight community of kindred spirits whose lives are shared and who broadcast all the time from their phone. It's a phone that personifies, if you'll pardon the pun, true kinship between people and technology, developers and customers. So today, I want to introduce you to the newest member of the Windows Phone family, Kim, a phone designed to navigate your social life. Please welcome Derek Snyder, Senior Product Manager for the Kin Team. He's going to take you through the product. Derek? <laughs> 